Well, that's what we're dealing with today. Hey, what's up YouTube and my fellow gaming freaks. Thank you very much for joining me for today's episode. And in today's episode, we are going to have a look at kind of a quite substantial pile of video games I have um, picked up from kind of, so to speak, yester month. Um, just to kind of to give you a little bit heads up what's been happening. So um, I've been trying to uh, break down my pickup videos in weeks. So basically I would kind of pick up games from Monday to Sunday and then maybe on Sunday or, or following um, Monday I would do a video to or, or, or you know the idea was to try to do a video to reflect on the previous week. Um, that hasn't really happened for one reason or another but ultimately that is the kind of the idea going forward. So there is four separate videos yet to come to cover the kind of the last four weeks, but this stuff um, we're going uh, we're going to go through today um, was picked up uh, prior last month, kind of last four weeks, and this wasn't just a one pickup, but it was probably you know several pickups here and there over several weeks. So it's probably if I have to give a uh, I'll put an educated guess on it. It probably was done over kind of like four to six weeks uh, period. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, you know, took a little while to amass all this stuff, but ultimately I never got around to share these games with you, these pickups. And this stuff all has been already cataloged, so I have kind of cataloged everything for my personal collection, but I have not uh, tidied it all away. And this stuff's been sitting on my living f uh, living room floor for several months now, and really, um, really nagging me because I wanted you know to kind of uh, make a video, uh, kind of show you what I picked up, and then tidy everything away and put. Uh, all the games in their rightful places but finally getting round so today is the day today we're making this video or I'm making this video rather and uh, yeah um, I'm probably just gonna jump in and uh, there's gonna be quite a few bits to show uh, so I will try to keep my waffle down to minimum otherwise we might be here for like a couple hours easily so there will be maybe a comment here and there uh, I'll, I'll, I'll comment on a few things but uh, ultimately yeah I'll, I'll try to just kind of like blitz through and actually just quickly sh uh, share with you what I picked up um, over kind of, as I said, maybe like six, four to six weeks period, you know, a, a few months back now. Um, so, okay, let's just jump in and uh, go through everything as quick as we can. Well, that's what we're dealing with today. So as you can see, there's uh, four piles, four and a half piles or four big piles, whatever, you know, doesn't matter how many piles, but as you can see, uh, quite a few games there. As you can see from the green cases, so there's quite a, quite a, quite a few, you know, well, quite a lot actually, probably like half of that stuff, well, maybe not half, maybe about 40% of that stuff is uh, Xbox 360 games. There's quite a few um, Nintendo DS games, uh, also some, uh, Nintendo V games, there's some PlayStation 1 stuff. I also have some uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2 bits, and a couple, I think, um, or one maybe even just a, a DVD as well to show, like a box set. Um, so, okay, let's just uh, go through bit by bit and see what's there. Okay, let's start with this. So, Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter. Uh, Capcom title, uh, don't know much about this one, uh, wasn't really aware about this, seen it in my local CX, it was £10, but I had traded some stuff in for a fiver um, and got £10 credit, so ultimately it cost me only 5 quid, so yeah, happy with that. Another CX pickup a little while back, um, this is uh, uh, Kao, well what's it's called actually, Kao the Kangaroo Round 2. Uh, a GameCube, GameCube title I didn't have in my collection, so really pleased to add another GameCube title. Uh, PS3 games, so we got Max Payne 3. Invisimals, uh, The Lost Kingdom. I think it's, no, it's got a barcode. I thought it's maybe it's a, like a bundle copy. Uh, Burnout Paradise, The Ultimate Box. 
turning point, fall of liberty. I think I paid one pound for all these, um, not for all these, but for each of these uh, PlayStation 3 titles. Operation Flashpoint, Red River. How to Train Your Dragon 2. I really enjoy the films, so I haven't played this game, so I'm not sure whether it's good or not, but uh, we'll check, definitely check it out. Good old faithful uh, Tekken 5. This is obviously Platinum. I think I had the main release already, but this is Platinum being added to my collection. I do collect Platinum as a subset. And uh, James Cameron's Avatar the game um, actually uh, always kind of um, makes me a little bit kind of laugh almost when uh, it's not just Avatar the game, it's James Cameron's Avatar the game. Uh, reminds me a scene from a movie called Up in the Air with George Clooney and um, I cannot remember what was the girl called, uh, the actress, but uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll probably put in a clip in. Men get such hard-ons from putting their name on stuff. You guys don't grow up. It's like you need to pee on everything. Now, we're moving on to some um, Xbox 360 titles. I cannot quite remember what I paid for these, but probably was uh, about a pound as well. So we got uh, Test Drive uh, Unlimited 2, I think. Yeah, Test Drive Unlimited 2. So I'm very pleased about that one. This is actually a North American release and it is um, MX VS uh, versus ATV Reflex. There we go and as you can see E, so it's, this is um, NTSC title, so I'm not going to play on, on PAL console, but I don't have an NTSC console, but nonetheless uh, it's a keeper. Uh, Fight Night Champion. Uh, didn't surprise didn't have this one because it's kind of like a, almost like on you know, every corner you can buy it But anyway, didn't have it so Mass Effect, Mass Effect the first game uh, Really enjoyed it played it on my PC back in the day really enjoyed it, but haven't really played any more uh, in, Any kind of follow-up uh, games in the series so need to kind of revisit it Army of two Assassin's Creed 3. I think I did have this already, but it was I think the uh, Limited edition or whatever it's called or special edition. So this is kind of the, the base Edition, so uh, I, I do tend to pick up all these different variants Dishonored Another great game played it on my PC really enjoyed it. Haven't played the second one Uh Yes, I remember these three for a fact came out of my one of my local charity shops picked up uh, The Sims uh, for obviously PlayStation 2 I uh, paid uh, $1.99 for uh, this one I'm Trying to remember why I paid for this one um, Great price still was this holds value. I can't remember. I think it's about 20 pounds This goes for Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I paid either $1.99 or $2.99 So either way I was very pleased um, with the price I paid. This is another one that holds a bit value, and again I paid like either $1.99 or, 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 or thereabouts, or $2.99, and it's Brat uh, Rock Angels. In nice clean condition. Uh, not sure where this came from, but uh, probably was about a pound or so, and it's uh, SingStar 90s. I had uh, some other SingStar uh, games in my collection, but not this particular one, not the 90s one. Uh, another couple uh, Xbox 360 games, The Sims 3 and uh, Ace Combat 6 Fires of Liberation. Uh, now, really enjoyed the series back in the day. I played the kind of the original games on my PlayStation 1. Um, kind of have lost a bit touch with the uh, series, but uh, I possibly have played this on a PC. I'm trying to remember if I have played or not, or was it earlier or, or, or the game after. I can't remember. There was one in, in kind of like recent, uh, well, not in recent years, it probably was like in, in last decade or so made. Either way, yeah, uh, kind of love the series, so need to need to revisit the series. 
Now moving on to some um, PlayStation 1 titles, these were all picked up as part of kind of like a, a bundle, there was PlayStation 1, there was PlayStation 3, and there was also Xbox 360. Um, so yeah, that's all kind of like, again, um, that ship has sailed, so I am, you know, not going to go about, uh, waffle on about what exactly I picked it up there and what was there, what wasn't there. But anyway, um, some bits start getting gathered to my collection. Uh, unfortunately, no case, so I'm getting just um, a disc and manual, and it's uh, Bubble Bubble, also featuring Rainbow, Rainbow Islands. So, uh, manual is there, and the disc. Then the disc and really badly torn um, or even water damaged um, cover art of a Medieval 2. So, but the disc is there, so as long as I can play the game. So, you can see the artwork is just wrecked. Um, what's that? That's a disc and a manual of Worms Armageddon. A big box edition of X2. So, this is the, the big double kind of like fatty box uh, international track and field i think i had platinum version of this but this is the base version uh, let me check quickly inside here uh, actually ha uh, it's got a platinum disc inside uh, no manual so yeah it's kind of a mixed bag uh, Porsche Challenge, Platinum, unfortunately no front uh, artwork or, or back artwork, so it's just a uh, manual and the disc inside a case, So, but nonetheless. I think I had uh, the base release, so this is Platinum but not complete. Magic, uh, The Gathering, Battle Mage. Original Tekken. I'm trying to remember if I had, yeah, I had Platinum um, release of this one, but not this one. So, not the best condition, quite, uh, quite, feels quite tired, but nonetheless, for now we will do. Uh, Pandemonium. Uh, case is in, in kind of like bad condition, like glued up with some tape and stuff, but nonetheless. I think again, I had this like on Platinum release but not the base. And then we have a Bishi Bashi Special, a Konami title. So, uh, don't know much about this. Sorry, just the light, the glare from lights. So yeah, well, we'll be definitely checking it out. Now, I, I am kind of getting a little bit back into collecting a few PC games as well. I started to notice there's a few games I've been kind of holding on to uh, as of late. And especially if I see some uh, kind of like fancy collections or something like that, uh, not the collections, sort of like collector's editions and whatnot. So um, yeah, I, I like to kind of keep them. And this is really nice, really cool. I paid $3.99 for this. Uh, this is actually a Steamworks title, so it means that the game has been activated and you know cannot really use, cannot be used. But it doesn't bother, don't bother me. Uh, this was still you know worth four pounds for me for um, the actual kind of like the, the packaging. And it is really cool. Uh, I'm quickly going to open it up as well. So it kind of folds out. So there's like a little pages there. Shows, for example, ma map of Darksiders. Uh, there's a little book inside as well. So we're going to have a quick look there. So yeah, some cool artwork in there. Really nice, uh, nice kind of collection. There's some postcards as, as well, I think, or whatever you want to call them. So let me just quickly put this all back in without wrecking it. So there we have it. So yeah, that's without the sleeve, so the box kind of, uh, like a little book basically. Yeah, really cool. And then, um, I think this was £1.49 I paid. It's a painkiller. Um, kind of as well, quite chunky. Uh, you open it up, it kind of folds out, there's like a, a back uh, card from um, from the box, uh, discs, there's three discs and there's manual, so yeah, really, really, really cool. Uh, I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll keep that. And then I actually picked this up for kind of like trade, I'm going to flip it, but I decided to keep it, and it's a complete um, series of Deadwood. 
they do the ultimate collection so three seasons i think that's uh three seasons there were uh for the show i haven't really watched it uh, it's available on blu-ray as well nowadays but uh i really kind of find this quite um quite nice chunky cool looking box so I decided to keep it so we're moving on to um nintendo ds stuff so we got um animal paradise imagine champion rider disney princess magical jewels charlotte's web pony friends fashion designer high fashion uh, this is actually brand new and sealed still uh, well it says replay previously played but i think um, it's been traded in, sealed, and this is from HMV when they were doing games. Um, I actually don't know whether any HMV, big HMV stores still do any games, but my local doesn't do any games, so that's, that ship has sailed. But anyway, so this obviously was traded in as a brand new game, but because it was traded in, they just put in a, a sticker that allegedly has been, you know, pre-owned, but it is sealed, brand new. I think it is the official seal hasn't been repackaged or anything so it is uh history great empires rome so like a history channel i think game uh i think it's like a kind of like strategic game so uh i might check it out actually at some point um imagine babies cooking mama hannah montana music jam uh this i think is missing manual yeah manual is missing Professor Haynes Wolf's Gravity Ultimate Band Sorry, I'll just pull this closer Jewel Quest Mysteries Curse of the Emerald Tear I think um, Brain Training or Dr. Kawashima's Brain Training How old is your brain? I do have this in my collection but on the kind of the normal uh, clear case this is the slim black case so a different variant so I'm keeping this Guinness World Records the video game Spore Creatures and least but not least in DS department Dolphin Island so yeah quite pleased to have a bunch of um, DS games going into my collection and now we're moving on to more Xbox 360 titles and we have Red Faction Guerrilla this one was the one I was talking about in the last uh, video that I had another copy so I was you know trying to work out which one is better so this copy was better so uh this is another one that i had already uh kind of half showing in last video the star War oh, sorry star wars the force force unleashed uh this is again like much better copy so this is you know a keeper the other one is going to be flipped home front ultimate edition uh call of duty 2 classics i do again collect classics and i think this is yeah proper classics disc um, I collect these as a subset. Hitman Blood Money. Uh, there was also among uh, this pile I picked up, um, there was also uh, the official Xbox Magazine demo disc, issue 77. So keeping that. Tony, uh, sorry, Tom Clancy's Hawks. Operation Flashpoint Red River, so I got that on PlayStation 3 and now on uh, Xbox 360. Far Cry 3. Far Cry 4 Limited Edition. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10. Hello 3 ODST, this is Classics variant. So uh, unfortunately no manual and I don't know whether the manual actually was with classics or not but uh, the discs are correct, the classics release. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, unfortunately missing manual and a case is quite wrecked but anyway, keep it for now. Hunted the Demons Forge, 
I think it's called, or the Demon's Forge Hunted. I don't remember which way around it was. Game of Thrones. Call of Duty Advanced, uh, Advanced Warfare. Call of Duty Ghosts. I already have this in my collection, but this is Free Fall or, or Limited Edition. So again, slightly different variant, so I'm keeping it. Um, classics edition, complete and correct disc, uh, classics variant of Command and Conqueror, Tiber Tiber sorry, Tiberium Wars 3, Jesus Christ, couldn't pronounce it even, Prototype, Aragon, I think this is like a really cheap game and I don't know whether it's even actually any good day. game, I don't think it is, but um, Dead Rising 2, a Capcom tile, unfortunately uh, missing uh, manual. Uh, Mercenaries 2 World in Flames. Oh, sorry, I'm just off the uh, camera there. Uh, game, game of the Year edition of Batman Arkham Asylum, and this is kind of like bestseller classics. So I think it is all correct there, manual as well. And then last but not least in Xbox 360 department, we got Terminator Salvation. Sorry, a bit farther away, here we go, that's it. And now, again, last bit but not, or last but not least, we got some um, Nintendo Wii U tiles, and these are the kind of the last little pile to go through. So first of all, we got um, a Ratatouille. Uh, this actually is, uh, Oh, there's a price I paid for it. 34 pence, great. Nice score. Um, missing manual, but I already have picked in recent times another copy of this game, which is probably overly a little bit worse than this one, but it is with uh, comes with manual, so I'm gonna steal the manual and put into this one, so it's gonna be a complete edition. Top Trumps, uh, Doctor Who. Kung Fu Panda. Uh, was this SpongeBob SquarePants? SpongeBob's Truth or Square? Top Spin 4. Monsters vs. Aliens. Family Party. 30 Great Games. Uh, I've seen somebody else picking this up recently. I cannot uh, quite remember who it was, but uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, more than 10 holiday games and activities inside. So yeah, probably near the Christmas, need to load it up and see what it's all about. And the last um, retail, unfortunately missing manual, and I'm not entirely sure whether the manual was there to start with or not, but probably was. But it's the U Draw title, and it is uh, Kung Fu Panda 2. And as you can see there, it's a U Draw game tablet required. And that's it. So that was the last game. And there we have it. So oh, that was a mar marathon and a half, but uh, we survived. And now um, I can uh, finally put all these games in their rightful places in my collection. And okay, as you could see, there maybe uh, weren't any kind of like big uh, heavy hitters um, in, 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 in this lot. Um, but ultimately, as you might know from my previous videos, I am completionist, so I do like to collect um, any game that I do not have in my collection. So if I don't have a particular game, doesn't matter what system it is, what platform it is on, um, and if the price is right, uh, ultimately if it's cheap enough and you know if it works for me, um, I will uh, pick it up and gladly add to my collection. And you know even if it's like really um, poor tile, you know like uh, shovel or like sports tile, I still will pick it up as long as it's you know not, not stupidly priced and you know well ultimately very ex inexpensive. So yeah, I'm really pleased about all these games. Uh, doesn't matter how good or bad they are. So I didn't did not have these games, and they are all you know going to be uh, put in my collection. And ultimately, I will um, be happy man tonight once I'm done with this. 
Anyhow guys, thank you very much for joining me for today's episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I probably will see you quite soon in the next episode. But for now, take it easy. Thank you.